Hey guys, got a question, a real good question about bodybuilders and powerlifters. I made the statement that rep ranges really don't matter. So somebody asked me if they don't matter, why do some bodybuilders look different than powerlifters? That's a very good question, kids. A plus on the questions, and I'm going to answer that in this video. Before I proceed, guys, I want you to stick around to the old end. You find out how you can contact me with your questions and or comments. So, guys, let's dig in. I hope this isn't too confusing for you. If it is, uh, call me out and call me a lunatic or an idiot and let me know. So, guys, here's the deal. In the natural realm, there is really no perceivable difference. I have interviewed some of the top natural bodybuilders in the country, hundreds of them, guys. I've been with Mr. North Carolina, um, Joel Roblo. I've been with Mr. Minnesota, Ty Den. Um, I've been with Stu Yellen from T Nation. Uh, I've talked to Sean Clarita, Doug Miller, on and on and on and on and on. Top natural bodybuilders. R.J. Perkins, who's a pro. The list could go on and on. I've met Mark Lobliner. I talked to him today, as a matter of fact. Uh, I've been with Lane Norton. I have met and been to tons of natural shows and met all the top natural bodybuilders. On the same note, I've met tons and tons and tons of natural power lifters. I live in both worlds. Guys, I can tell you, the size difference really isn't that much. It's about the same. For the elite level, if you meet elite level natural power lifter in an elite level natural bodybuilder, they're going to have about the same base muscle tissue. The differences um, in how they look come down to an illusion. You know, when you strip away that body fat as a natural bodybuilder, you look 10 times bigger than you are. But I have pictures, guys, of me with Lane Norton, me with Mark Lobliner, me with all the top name stars, and as a power lifter standing next to them, as a natural power lifter standing next to a natural bodybuilder, I look much bigger than they do. It's it's an illusion. They look complete they look much bigger in pictures because they don't have body fat. So the point being for naturals, guys, for natural bodybuilders and powerlifters, when you get to that elite level, they have about the same amount of muscle tissue. They just look different because the bodybuilders are so super cut, it makes them look ten times bigger. Now there are some other trivial differences, not maybe not trivial, but minor differences. Power lifters don't tend to work all their mi minor body parts, so they might not have as well-rounded a physique, but overall their their overall muscle mass is pretty close to that of of um, natural bodybuilders. Now, guys, I want you to go to a natural powerlifting event, a local one. I want you to go to a couple natural local bodybuilding events. You will find out that the average natural bodybuilder competes, mid-card average natural bodybuilder competes in the low 160 pound range. Yes, you got that right. 160, maybe 158 to 163 pounds. I know a lot of pros who don't even weigh 170 pounds ripped. So, they're really not that big, guys. Natural, this is natural bodybuilding. They're really not super, super huge. On the other hand, most of my natural powerlifting friends look as big, if not bigger, than the naturals um, in the off-season because we carry around so much more fat, it makes the, uh, the old muscle tissue look a little bit bigger. So, guys, that's the natural realm. But let's talk about the most important one, guys, and that is the unnatural, or AAS, or steroid realm. You will see a lot of top-level power lifters, guys, who are, you know, tr doing these uh, big squats and gear, you know, two-ply suits and, and that sort of stuff, who don't look anywhere near as muscular as their elite-level bodybuilding compadres. Why is this? Very good question. Here is the God's honest truth, guys. I have been with these guys. I've been behind closed doors with some of them. And I know what some of the chems they take. I do not condone AAS use, but sometimes in this industry you run into it behind closed doors. Guys, talk about it. And guys, I want you to know, if you don't know this already, there is a big difference between the chemicals that bodybuilders and powerlifters take. Uh, power lifter, both of them use a base of testosterone, okay? Don't want to talk about specific dosage or anything like that. That's not what this video is about. 
Um, it's illegal in this country. I'm talking about this strictly for informational uh, purposes. They both use a base. But when it comes to the, the additional chems, guys, the power lifters are using stuff that's more po focused on strength. Whereas the bodybuilders are using chemicals that promote size. And believe it or not, not all steroids are created equal. Beyond steroids, you have a whole world of chemicals we aren't talking about, kids. Insulin, human growth hormone, bodybuilders are also using chemicals for cutting. For cutting, maybe thyroid chemicals, T2, T3. Maybe they're using chemicals for, um, like, clenbuterol, specific cutting chemicals. The point here, guys, is that bodybuilders are using ba a battery of chemicals that not only work to increase size, but also work to strip away body fat. So, they're going to have more muscle tissue because they're taking size, they're taking chems for size. Whereas the powerlifting guys aren't taking all those chems for size. They're taking uh, maybe, you know, one, two, three uh, um, type of chemicals and the, the, the base of testosterone and what else, the other stuff they're taking is mostly for strength, guys. Strength and not pure muscle size. They're not maximizing their chemicals as powerlifters to build muscle tissue. And therein lies the difference you see between elite level powerlifters and elite level bodybuilders on the AAS or steroid type of realm, guys. And this is very important. That's why there is a difference in the way they look, because they're taking chems to make that, that, that create that difference. With that said, there's still a whole ton of jacked powerlifters out there, guys, and these uh, guys can still get super jacked, even though they're not taking, a, they're not maximizing their size chemicals. So, guys, I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions or comments, you can connect with my Facebook page, which is up here somewhere on the link on the sidebar, or you can. Um, Contact me directly via email, which is below, or via the forum, which is below, guys. It's a non-troll, safe, respectful forum. Come join. Ask your questions. We'll help you out, guys. A lot of experienced lifters that want to help you get results. So, guys, thanks for watching this long video. I hope it has helped some, and have a great day.